we are Robo Mayhem. My name is Preeti Patel, and my teammates are Emma Bishop and Jisoo Shin. For our capstone project, we created a web version of a popular board game called Robo Rally. It's a multiplayer strategic game where players, aka robots, race to reach all the specified checkpoints while overcoming obstacles along the way, such as death lasers and gravity pits. So think of it kind of like capture the flag, except that you're a robot and you need to calculate out each one of your moves before you start making them. And you need to take into consideration the various obstacles you may run into along the way. In the actual board game, players have to manually move their robots and imagine some of the you know, obstacles they may run into. Um, so with Robo Mayhem, our goal was to allow users to experience the Robo Rally experience come to life. Um, so to start the game, in our application, you can go to the lobby, which lists all the current games that a player can potentially join. Um, our games are stored in Firebase, and the games in a particular waiting status are displayed on the front end. And you can also decide to create your own game. You choose a board, which vary in levels of difficulty, and then your robot avatar. Um, other players can subsequently join this game via the game lobby, and then once the host decides that enough players have joined the game, um, he or she can decide to then start the game, which is then going to take all of the players to their own game state. Emma's going to now go into more details on how to actually play the game. So when no longer muted. <laughs> <laughs> so when a game is initiated, each player is randomly assigned a starting point and dealt five cards or dealt nine cards, their task is to choose five of those that will most efficiently move them towards the next checkpoint. When all of the players in the game have registered their five cards and pressed ready, their moves will be played out on the game board. We wrote our game engine on the back end. It captures each player's current position and calculates their next position based on the cards they chose. It then will calculate the following position based on the characteristics of the tile they landed on. Players on gears will be turned, and players on conveyor belts will be, be moved along the belt. This cycle of card move, board move, is played out once for each of the cards in the register. When all five cards have been played out, everybody is dealt new cards and the game continues. When one player has finally reached all of their checkpoints, they win and the game is over. <laughs> The, com the complexities of moving pieces around the board make this especially well suited to a web, web version. As you can see, it could be pretty easy to lose track of where you are in the process of card move or board move and did I turn on a gear or not. Our game engine takes care of all of that. Jisoo will now discuss some of the technologies we made use of. Thanks, Emma. As we were planning out our application architecture, our primary concerns were to address how the evolving game data object should flow between the client and the server and how to display our state of the game on the front end. Once all of the players within a certain room have registered their cards and pressed ready, a request is sent through our Angular factories, which is our front end model layer, to our node process. Our node process initiates our game logic and calculates the next game state. This game state is then sent to Firebase, which we use as a central repository for managing all of our connections and propagating data to all of our clients in real time. We also persisted our data to MongoDB on an occasional basis. On the front end, Angular is listening for these changes in Firebase, and then the visualizations are rendered. For our visualizations, we utilized a graphics library called Pixie.js to render the board, create robot sprites, and move these sprites based on the data we received from the back end. Our application architecture orchestrates our data flow so that players can solely focus on their game strategy. Emma, Preeti, and Hai had a lot of fun building out our game, and we hope you enjoy Robo Mayhem. <laughs> 